and I came across this. There's a house that spawned underneath the Woodland Mansion, and it just seems to be full of cobblestone. Hello everyone, welcome back to Monotonous Minecraft, episode 34. Uh, today, as I kind of mentioned last time, I think we're going to uh, build a fake front to all to the super smelter here. We're gonna do a, you can see I've got some blocks laid out. We're going to do a, uh, a row of, a uh, row, yeah, I guess, a row of row houses. A row, row, a row, row, row your boat. Don't ever say that again. Um, our uh, uh, bamboo farm is doing strong. We got, what direction am I facing? We got, uh, let's see how much. I haven't gotten to that yet. But we've almost got that hopper filled up. I did move the chest out. So they will stick out of the front so we can actually uh, use them still. But otherwise, this entire face will be uh, covered up. Um, the back will be covered up and then it'll kind of merge into whatever I put here. Which I'm thinking some sort of gigantic opera house with a crazy front. Or maybe a small skyscraper. I don't know. And there's I, I can't see myself building something all the way up here on this one, but maybe. Like, I kind of, if I do build something over here, I want these to stick out the front. Um, just so I can have them. Um, so anyway, our pallet is not very pleasant. And that's because I've been uh, working on tearing down that woodland mansion. If you look at the map, you can see it looks like it's all desert across there. Um, that's actually the birch logs uh, uh, flooring in it. Because um, I've taken down the roof. It's no longer a giant brown square. Now it's a giant tan square. <laughs> Um, but we're going to be using the blocks from that. So I've just got a collection of them. Um, mostly the dark oak planks, cobblestone. Uh, I've got some of the polished andesite that came out of, I don't remember what the room is called, one of the rooms. Um, some stairs, some uh, slabs, some walls. We'll play around with the design and see what we can do. Um, it's going to be what's in my head. Uh, these materials won't work well with, but it'll still look fine with the uh, with what it is. Um, it's going to be an old, uh, probably more of a British-style row house than American style. We'll see. Um, for those of you who are, you know, totally architecture nerds, like most of us, really. I mean, come on, let's face it. Uh, so, yeah, let me stop twitching around and giving everyone a headache. Um, and uh, I'll make some progress, and we'll check in. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um... I uh, use a polished andesite up the sides. I accidentally used cobblestone at first. It looked horrible. <laughs> but I remembered. I got the uh, the layout for all of them. Strange enough, it worked out perfectly. So there'll be uh, five of them and all the same width, and they'll end right there. You can see I uh, can access that. I put stairs back here. Good trick, you know, not a full of black. You can still access your... your uh, uh, chests, <laughs> whatever. Um, right now I'm just doing the facade. Uh, the back is going to be fairly plain. Although I plan on putting a door here because handily I can walk all the way through and check on my hoppers if I need or my furnace if I need to. Um, I'll slab the roof. Um, the let's see what's the other design note on top. The I did use andesite um, walls since now we have the special walls. Um, so I use the walls up there just to kind of break up, you know, I want the same, the same kind of color, but to break up the, uh, the texture a bit. And I got them a little wide. It looks a little weird now, um, because it hangs off that side. But once I get them all in and they'll all look like the middle, this, such this top part will, uh, span the entire, um, block of houses. And then, yeah, the, the back and the sides, uh, are just going to be fairly plain, um, and the back end is going to kind of run into that and just stop where the glass already is because <laughs> I'm moving the glass. Uh, but the front will look pretty cool. That's important. You know, doors work. Yeah, that's, that's handy. Oh, look. It's a little house. <laughs> um, and I did put um, uh, sea lanterns behind the windows up there just to provide some more light. And, uh, you know, I put the bushes out front mostly just to, uh, you know, block that sea lantern. <laughs> and then, of course, I was going through, like, push, 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 block the chest. Like, that's kind of besides the point. 
so I left that open. But I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build the rest of them. Um, let me see. Maybe I'll do those big old time lapse. That'll be fun. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm liking it. It's smoother than I expected. Barely fell off or killed myself at all. Um, <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is, uh, yeah, just kind of box in the back and slab the top. And uh, we can call that good. And maybe try to figure out uh, what I want to do with the giant glass cube over there. You know what? Maybe I could do... Uh, you know, museum style. Just build a bottom, building on the bottom part, and that way the top can go over. Uh, the the can remain glass, um, like uh, arboretum or something. I think that'll be good. That way we want to have some sort of giant build there, and we'll still be able to see the uh, the cool glass. And we can still build a, a taller facade in the front to hide all this garbage. Um, but I think that sounds like a good idea. But let me get this back part done. All right, well, after I got done uh, doing the back of the uh, the row houses, which are very far away and not near at all, um, I looked at doing something with the bamboo farm, and I couldn't come up with anything. So I decided I'll just work on <laughs> tearing down the Woodland Mansion some more. You can see I'm down to the last layer here, but there's something funny I found in here. I was just randomly digging through, and I came across this. 
There's a house that spawned underneath the Woodland Mansion, and it just seems to be full of cobblestone. That roof looks like it's probably the floor of the the mansion itself. It's just pretty funny. Uh, so as we take that out, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll discover it. I'm going to leave the house there. So my plan is to take out the Woodland Mansion and then actually join up these two villages. And I've cleared out almost everything. So what I've been doing is I kind of take down the roof and then slowly take down the walls until they're about five high and that way I can reach them easily and just uh, chop them down from here like this. Chop, 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 chop. Um, and then we just keep going. So let's uh, let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of chatting, see what uh, future plans are. So like I said, I'm going to... Um, here, you know what? It'll be easier when I go up here. You can see stuff. There's my Deller, Dellard Desert Village, if words would come out properly. And then I run... Oh, you can even see it from here. I've got the village at the edge of the world. Boy, these look really far away with a big mountain in the middle. So, <laughs> once I'm done with this mansion, I plan to take out this desert mountain and that little bit of a savanna mountain. I guess that would be a savanna village then. And, uh, yeah, just start building houses in between and open it up the fencing I have for both of them. Oh, that's carpet, not snow. I'm like, why is it snowing here? It's a desert. And it's not high up. Uh, yeah, so I'll just open up the fences to each other and we'll just have one giant village and... Uh, I think my end goal uh, for this world, aside from flattening, is actually going to be make one giant world-spanning village. Um, minus a few places. Uh, like, I don't want to... Um, I want to keep my slime farm dark, which means I need to keep villagers out of there and the monsters that spawn in there out of the village. And the iron farm uh, that was by the Ocean Monument and the Guardian farm... I don't want to uh, build a, the village too close to that so that that breaks. So we'll have a big band around it where it uh, just doesn't have uh, village spawning. Like, we'll keep the village away from it. Um, and it's like 65 blocks away from the nearest, from the center of the village. Uh, so I'll probably have a band about 70 blocks all the way around each edge, just in case, where we'll just leave. Um, and it's not that far. I mean, you, it's the distance between, like, the uh, where the little hut is and the center or the center of the iron farm is. So that's not actually that far. Um, and kind of like the slime farm, it's only a 40 by 40 square. So we're not, we're not taking out a lot of it. I just think it'll be kind of fun to do villages. And I was thinking about having different districts, like on the Hermitcraft server, where they've got, like... Future di District and the, uh, well, not the shopping district, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Fantasy. Um, and I don't know if there's a for Westworld. Is that a thing? Well, I mean, under the show and movie or thing. Uh, but anyway, I, I'll probably just kind of mix and match. I won't try to do an architectural style here and there necessarily. Um, just have a huge collection of different styles that are kind of piled together. Um, much like a properly fallen together uh, city nowadays. You know, you, you keep building the same spot, but you don't change the, archi you change the architecture from time to time. And so you just kind of get something different. So the thing about clearing out these mansions is you get a lot of materials all at once. So it's, if you're trying to keep it like I am, you just periodically uh, go down and pick up what you've found to make sure that uh, you're not filling up your inventory. You can't pick anything up. So I'll do a... Uh, pick up here. I'll get to the end of this row. I'll pick everything up and I'll dump everything off in the chest I have where you can see I don't have um, everything in there because I used a bunch of the materials to build that townhouse or row houses. I like to uh, get down here on these. I had a lot of these statues. So you just kind of chop them all the way down. <laughs> Easy way to break up while you're getting down. Um, I'll let that fall as we go. Let's pick up all this junk. And now that I've got all the junk, the fun part is trying to remember how to get the heck out of here. There we go. Found it. That was actually pretty good. Usually I'm pretty slow about that. So I started out here with just three double chests that I've had to expand out to six. And yeah, they're pretty full. Uh, but mostly I just try to dump off what I need to dump off. 
Oops, full. Where'd that potato come from? That must have come from when I was walking through the village. Random potatoes! You know, I'm not really sure how long I've put into uh, tearing down this mansion. Move your feet. I'm not sure how long I've put into tearing down this mansion. Um, I've been working on it, I don't know, the last couple of weeks here and there. But it's probably been several, several hours because I'm trying to keep the materials. Um, I thought about blowing it up or burning it down uh, because there's nothing around it really to catch fire. The village is made out of stone. Um, but I also didn't want to lose any of the chests just in case anything was good in it. There wasn't. <laughs> you know, you get the kind of, same kind of chest as you do like in a, in a dungeon. Um, or in a desert temple, you know, there's some decent enough loot, but with all the farms I already have, there doesn't make a lot of sense, but still kept it. Um, still uh, haven't found anything, you know, like hard to see or anything like that, that I would have trouble finding because of the timing of the update, which is unfortunate, but there it is. So yeah, you just kind of go back and forth. This part is actually easy. It's the walls at the height, like when I was doing the, the third level, the top level, and I'm standing super far above the ground, and I'm trying to fall off, and I'm on a one wide wall, or walking across the single panes of glass. Um, it got a little uh, spooky, but I didn't fall, I didn't die, I haven't died yet. My son keeps asking me when I'm going to die, I'm like, I don't know, but it's going to be something stupid like walking off the edge of something tall, which I've almost done several times. But so far, haven't, so, uh, you know, fingers crossed or whatever. <laughs> you know what's going to happen, and I, uh, what it does happen, I, I hope if I'm not recording, I'll be able just to leap on and start recording so I could share my, uh, my triumph? Is that a, tri a negative triumph? <laughs> it's not really a heartache, it's a video game where dying is part of it. But it's, uh, certainly something I've, uh, been doing a good job of avoiding. Like right now, I'm in peaceful, I, uh. <laughs> I know that I never got the uh, the Vindicators to spawn in here after lighting up everything or the Evokers. Um, but, you know, skeletons and everything else spawn in here. I already got the Lapis out of this skull. I got I pulled all those out. I had three or four of these uh, Illager heads in here and uh, two cats. Um, so I already plucked all the good stuff out of here. Um, but yeah, so even though I... Uh, I tried to trap the evoker and be able to get the totem of dying easily. It never did spawn. Um, but other, you know, it's a dark space, so other mobs can spawn around me. Um, so I thought it was just easier to keep it dark while tearing it down. Uh, the woods, I'm not too worried about. I could run out and like on mountains and stuff. You know, I could set up a little base station. And yeah, I do have a base station here, but it's this is a very large woodland mansion and it's hard to uh, find your way in and out of sometimes and so I didn't want to depend, be dependent on trying to run down um, to that village to sleep and it would be every 5 minutes instead of 10 because it would take me so long to get there um, and back so I'd lose a lot of time so uh, if you are going to do this yourself uh, peaceful or yeah just go crazy and keep an eye out um Probably if you lit it up more, because I didn't bother lighting up the top of the building when I went through. Um, so if you light up as you go, you should be fine too. I just uh, want to focus more on tearing it down than I want to focus on staying alive. Does anyone else have that song on their head now? Just me? Okay, good to know. I had fences blocking this tunnel all the way through and that up there. Uh, for inevitably the times I do have... Um, the uh you know hard mode on and just wandered through i don't want my villagers villagers to all die i mean i have others that i could replace them but that's a lot of you know thinking ahead and planning and working and stuff so it's just easier to try to make sure they don't get eaten uh i took them down just to show off what the the weird was the weird uh the weird house under here <laughs> was where is it? it's under here somewhere can i randomly find it not with that. Not with that attitude. It could be under there. It's a stone. It's a cobblestone blocks. Let's see. This goes up. Choppy choppy. So that's about all the time I have for today. 
uh, funny thing about this uh, thing is the row houses is that I built them so close to this line that when stuff goes through the doors open and close so that's kind of fun it doesn't really matter it just looks like they're very neighborly come on in visit us friends <laughs> let's go around the back so all I did yeah very basic um, I put the lighting here to kind of replace where the lights would have been so it lights up on the inside and outside um, I have my little doorway in here so that I can run through and check on my furnaces or to a lesser extent my circuits I can kind of get there not really um, it's working well enough I don't think it'll get jammed up but if it does it's usually jamming at the furnaces so I can come back here and figure that out and there's still light can I not jump there no I should be able to there's still enough light down here yeah everywhere so that oh I can see check the circuits from this direction handy and now I'm stuck forever and die <laughs> uh, or maybe not so, yep, that'll be enough for today. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, everyone have a good day. You know, right? All right. Have a good day. Enjoy the new outro music. I don't know if I'll keep it or not. <laughs> See y'all later.